Okay. Regarding your schedule this week, due to a shortage of available staff, we will need you to come into work this Saturday and Sunday. That would be great. Thanks for being a team player. Rest assured, your additional labors will be recognized. Hello. Supervisor Carol here. Thine accuracy continues to impress those of us above and below the soil. <laughs> I have updated your permissions once more. Keep up the great work, employee. Our eyes rest soundly upon thee. She's getting spookier. Animation. Ooh, animations are any miniature humanoid figure, such as dolls, puppets, or marionettes, that are capable of moving on their own. I hate that. They are my least favorite thing. Homeowners with animations most commonly report hearing clattering noises, excuse me, at night, and missing or stolen household objects. So these callers are appearing in other people's houses? Huh. Okay. Huh. The lore of these goofy little guys who keep calling me <laughs> has deepened. I like that. I like their speech patterns. Hello, Supervisor Carol here. I noticed that you've been experiencing regular disruptive calls from a false caller with ulterior motives. I've seen to it that this false caller shall no longer be a blight upon me. Aww. Keep up the good work, employee. I like this false caller. Put him on the list. Oh. Okay. Please hold. Two theories. This guy has just moved to New York and he's experiencing his first cockroach. Or his house is on fire. My house might have died, saw this big nasty thing flying, haven't been able to find it anywhere, might have electrocuted itself, and smell this awful burning scent. Can someone find this thing? Get it out. Not bed teeth, not a bogart, not closet labyrinth, maybe cockroach. None of these so far. Burning smell is maybe associated with the lamp sprite? I think it is. I think that the lamp sprite makes a burning smell. So let's say this is a lamp sprite. That was perfect scrolling. I didn't really even intentionally do that. Just a natural scroller. Let me scoop up a cactus. I'll be quick. Atticus. Baby boy. Oh, we've got a call, baby boy. You can sit here on my lap. It, it took my daughter. It's an oddish. It took my daughter. She, she's gone. It wrapped its awful tendrils around her and took her down with it. I saw it with my own eyes. Florence? Please, send help. The police won't do anything. Send help. Tendrils around her. Oh, he's got a knuckle. Cactus would take this dude's daughter if he thought that uh, it was a knuckle. If not spotted quickly, strangle hazard for humans and pets while they sleep. Place the dolls in the affected room, leave the roots alone for the night. Watch my design video. By morning the dolls and roots should be gone. I think this is what we're dealing with. He's so cute that little cactus one. Yeah, look at his little face. He's in the knuckle verse. This that we're hearing in the background is actually 
what the knuckle verse sounds like. Renifer. Ha ha ha. It's not here anymore. Cactus. <laughs> A Brennifer. Seriously, his face. But yeah, let's let's help this guy with his dead daughter real quick. We've got floor roots. This is a mirror nymph. It's not me anymore. I'm. It, 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 it took me. It took me. I can't see myself anymore. I'm gone. Help me. Help get me back, please. The voice acting here has been really impressive. At least he's like rotating a little bit. Accuracy 80%. Okay, not bad. Getting into the weekend shifts. I think we're going to beat this game. Just in one, uh, one fell swoop. Inverted the boy. He's upside down now. Let's watch Thunder Peak. While I get nibbled on. This really captures an aesthetic perfectly. Thunder Peak is one of America's most dangerous yet rewarding hiking locations. In this guide, we'll show you how you can be best prepared for one of nature's most beautiful trails. Make sure to bring Hacking boots. Water bottle. <laughs> Iron sword. <laughs> Climbing gloves. Pace yourself as you progress. This both conserves energy and helps you appreciate the scenery around you. This is very pretty. Very Colorado. Be sure to stop and read the info signs littered along the trail. When you see red and yellow lines, it means you are near a high rockfall area. Travel with caution. Once you've entered the quiet zone, remain completely silent. <laughs> As you approach the cave entrance, remove your hiking boots. <laughs> Enter the cave. Follow the lights. Do not stray. Do not stray, Baron. House cat instead. If you hear this sound, stay still and unsheath your sword. Once you exit the cave, put your boots and gloves on uh, for the final climb to the peak. <laughs> I love the music coming back. I was hoping that would happen. You made it. Now, enjoy the view. Cactus, must you chomp? Okay, two days left on the job, I believe. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. 
I've got a little cactus paw sitting on me here. The boy is getting long. This is an extended edition cactus. This guy. Oh, and there's a rat in the corner. Oh, oh, this guy. Yeah. Park employee, <laughs> one nine ear once more. Supervisor Carol here again. Um, Spriggans are new. Small green humanoids with leaf-like coatings on their bodies. Some kind of animal has gotten into my cellar. I know it's down there because I can hear it flapping around sometimes when the house is quiet. Tell me what to do to get rid of this thing because I think it's getting into all my Pinot Noirs and Chardonnays. I found a whole bunch of broken bottles on the floor. Stupid thing is probably getting loaded. Yeah. Hell yeah. Please this hold. is a wine sprite. And it's having a great time. Puka. <laughs> Pukas are shapeless creatures that commonly inhabit homes in the shape and likeness of a household pet. They are known for their tendency to replace common pets such as dogs or cats and live in their place to watch homeowners eat and sleep. Homeowners with pukas frequently report unusual or frightening pet behavior. Unusual or frightening pet behavior. Hi. Do you Spooky. know how I got here? I'm... I'm not where I should be. Please, I was told that you could help me. My family. They aren't my family. I, I don't know what's happened. Please tell me how to get back to my family. Hmm. Please hold. This is probably something new. Today, Dorcha. Dorcha is the one who delivers. Homeowners experiencing Dorcha commonly report feelings of immense dread and the sensation of being followed or pursued. They may also experience visions of a great lurking shadow. Look at that beard. It's like a, a Muppet. Neighbor's doorway. Doorframe-like structures that can often appear in basements or cellars. They are known to cause confusion if stepped through, as well as uh, parallelism. Do not cause any direct harm to humans, but if stepped through, the resulting parallelism will also often result in unwanted household activities, such as altered behavior or perceived missing memories in the human who comes through the other side. Neighbors' doorways are tricky to remove without accidentally putting one's body through them and potentially triggering the parallel activity. Is advised to utilize HSH's doorway removal surfaces. What a rip! Okay, so I think that this neighbor's doorway is what we're dealing with. Because she's not, like, missing memories, but she is confused. Could also be black mold, or, like, any of these could be explained by carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide poisoning is terrifying. Um, can cause hallucinations, all sorts of awful things. The more you know, let's listen to this troll. Probably a trash gnome. It's quite big too, which has me worried that whatever produced this might still be in the house. Because who knows how big oh, this thing could is. also be a fey meal. My dog can't even lay down something that big. My dog can't even lay down something that big. Please hold. Trash gnome. Seek out trash receptacles burrow inside them. Homeowners report the smell of rotten eggs, finding large clumps of fur throughout the house, tipped garbage cans, and loud crunching sounds at night. The smell of rotten eggs and the uh, like pile left behind makes me think this is a trash gnome. I feel pretty safe about that one.
Look at his little ears. Can we be sure this isn't a raccoon? I like how so many of these solutions are just don't encounter this problem in the first place. Simply do not allow it to home. It's a good and start. The same story. Bunch of itchy kids with nightmares waking up at 4 a.m. and begging to sleep in Papa's bed. I'm fresh out of ideas. Uh, do the nightmares involved. involve being covered in webs? Dreamweavers. Cause nearby humans. So it doesn't say to have nightmares, but to only dream about everything being covered in webs. I love that house fires are on this list. Enjoying the stream? Don't forget to follow to catch me later. I'm just waiting for the call where someone's like, that kind of thing. It's really warm, and when I touch the warm things, it hurts. And also, I've got a new sunroof that I didn't have before. Like, my friend, you are dealing with a house fire. I think it's a Dreamweaver. Let's see what's going on in this bag over here. What could this possibly be? Could it be a bag rat? Could it be a rat in a bag? With one little paw sitting there? Oh. Okay. Come hang out with me, bag rat. <sighs> Cute little guy. Ooh, that's a spooky sound. Medical help. I'm not exactly sure what to say since I talked to our family practitioner already, but he said to call here, so we've been um, having some trouble sleeping. I thought it was just me, but both my husband and I started feeling shortness of breath around Ed the hag. time. Hmm, someone's got sleep apnea. Boom, roasted. I'm worried about something spreading through our house since our kids all have. Asthma, have particularly severe allergies, so could you help us out sooner rather than later? Please yes, help. I can. Sooner or sure. No, not bed bugs, bed hags. Bag rat. Little rat in a bag. Oh, are you escaping? Yeah. Oh, kinda. I was thinking about it. There he goes. Good job, buddy. He's gonna go do it again. Hey, yeah, Paul here again. Thanks hey. a bunch for nothing, pal. I followed the instructions you sent, and they did jack. I ain't gotten a wink of sleep. My kids are breaking out in all sorts of rashes. See you never. Um, hello? Can you help me? There's this terrible smell in my house, and I can't figure out where on earth it's coming from. Hmm. I think it's upsetting my puppy Meatball, too. He's really been acting up lately. I can hardly blame him. I it think this is um, terribly rotten. the little Please, can you dog help? imposter thing. Please, how old? What was that one called? Hookah. Because the dog's been acting up. That's just dog sounds, but okay. Pretty sure you've got a puka. I'm pretty sure I've got a bag rat again. In fact, I know it. 84.61539% accurate. That bag rat is on the move. <laughs> I love his little face. I love the face of my boy. Oh, we got 
an entry browser. This is new. Oh, so I can just what a goofy cat. read up on all of these here. Now that I've got access to all of them. Mailbox. HSH Corporate, congratulations. Employee number 036. We are happy to report that we are most pleased with your labors and are currently making all the necessary preparations for your impending dissension, assuming you pass the trial. The soil is fertile. Keep up the great work, and thanks for working through the weekend. Sincerely, HSH Corporate. No, 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 no. I mean, it sounds like it's probably fine. Sounds like a good thing. So this is the trial. The trial hath begun. Oh, I guess we just don't get any info. Oh, cool. Okay, I think this is going to be fine. I think we're actually in a good spot for this. We are many, we are above, we are followers of our queen. Um, you're bees. Bees is what you are. <laughs> the requirement for dissension. I'm not living, yet I clatter. I'm small, I am weak. I serve my purpose, then I die. What am I? Please hold. Um, yeah, this is an animation. I'm pretty sure. In the tune of Woody from Toy Story, there's a rat in my bag. There's a rat in my bag. I am the beggar. I'm the encroacher of the dry. I'm friend of the water of the sky. What am I? He's old. You're a rain nymph. Oh, I have to select it here. Forgot. Press on, employee. <laughs> I think we're successfully descending. I think we've gotten them all correct so far. Not so sure about the animation one. Harbinger of death. Bringer of pestilence. Please hold. So, I think that's the Dorcha. The Dorcha cannot be avoided. Bringer of Pestilence, Forever the Nuisance. This is a Dorcha. Could be wrong. Don't think I'm wrong. And we're getting close. Like, we're continuing to descend. I feel like if I got one wrong, we'd probably start ascending, going back up. So, I don't know. I seek the domains of those who have too much. Please hold. Step within and they lose their way. What am I? You are... Neighbor's doorway. Okay, we're getting there. And it doesn't look so bad down here. I think that we're doing a good thing by descending. Oh, there's not a rat in there anymore. There's a rat over here now. Hey, baby rat. Companions of the gardens. You're Spriggans. Please hold. Companions of the gardens. Easy. Mm. 
Let go thy stilted soul. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. The dancer, the bringer of destruction. Forsaken soil and the careless light. Please hold. That's a tough one. I am the dancer. I am the bringer of destruction. I consume the weak and the reckless. I am the forsaken oil and the careless light. Oh, you know what this is? Does anybody know what this is that we're looking at here? It's something I've been waiting for for a long, long time to appear. This is a house fire. A Brennifer. House fire. Yes. Yes, indeed. <laughs> a Brennifer. Ha ha ha. I was gonna ask if there was a fire option. Ha ha. Yeah. I've been saying this whole time it'd be really silly for someone to call and be like, hey, my house is on fire. What is it? What should I do? I... Look at his twofers. The seeker, the one who delivers. Isn't that also the Dorcha? The de the Dorcha delivers? <laughs> it's not delivery, it's Dorcha? Hello. Supervisor Carol here. We've been watching you closely. For all this time, you have been providing excellent and accurate answers to our callers. These acts will not go unrewarded. And I'm pleased to report that you have qualified for a promotion. Hey. Please stand by while I prepare thy promotion. Okay. Promotion in progress. Please stand by. Yeah. Honestly, least painful performance evaluation I've ever received. A Brennifer. Yikes. Hi. Please be not afraid. Come close. I love the like FMV elements of this. You gonna put a crown on me? Little mushroom ring? Thank you. I feel like the Spriggans would not be a fan of my whole business, though. All hail our new junior Aww. Junior supervisor. That's pretty good. Crafty little friends. A Brennifer. Excellent. Look at these goofy little guys. <laughs> I love that. Uh, the whole game was fantastic. I love the um, the tone. Man, I love this game. Um, I want to see more stuff like this out there. And that is where we're going to end things. I think this is some appropriately spooky ending music. Um, next time I stream is probably going to be on Saturday. I might stream a little bit tomorrow, though. We shall see. Um, I'm glad that we got to go through this game all I in one night, in one go. <laughs> yeah, there's just a couple of cactus feet. Well, good night, everybody. See you next time.